Welcome to SciTech Culture with Steve Kern and Ben Warner, where we examine science, technology, and culture in the 21st century. Visit our website at SciTechCulture.com. Hello and welcome to SciTech Culture, the show where we discuss science, technology and culture in its myriad of forms. Uh, my name is Ben Warner and I'm joined by my good friend and colleague Steve Kern to talk about identity fraud or something like that on the internet, some variation of that. Um, how are we today, Steve? <laughs> I'm good, thanks, Ben. Very interesting topic today and one that I think, you know, especially in the uh, social media world, we need to be very mindful of. Yeah, exactly. So this is a bit of an impromptu episode. We were just getting fired up about this before we... Uh, <laughs> before before we got on to our other topic that we'll do today, but um, just um, we're just going to cover quickly this uh, particular story of uh, Belle Gibson and um, how she was uh, successfully able to um, sort of get away with this uh, story about her having cancer and then the subsequent um, uh, fact that uh, no one seemed to pull her up on it until very recently. Of course, um, it's relevant for us because she's. Um, She's Australian too, and uh, um, obviously it's in our backyard. So um, mm. there's a lot of uh, disturbing uh, sort of uh, things about this. Um, maybe it's, uh, I mean, I don't want to sound um, like I'm defending her or anything, but considering, um, you know, she did pretty well to get as far as she did, don't you think, with, um, with the fact that it was all bogus? Well, yeah, let, let's look at it on the surface before we debate anything mm. about her being bogus or not, uh, effectively she told a story on social media, a very compelling story about continual life-threatening illness and the fact that she beat it. And she was so good at that, she amassed such a large following, she was able to set up a, a very profitable app uh, on uh, the iTunes store and also do a very profitable deal with uh, the publisher Penguin. So, uh, I mean, I guess the, the at the core of this while uh, Bell Gibson might be the example here, I mean, anyone, it goes to show that with, with social media, you can post photos, you can tell stories, and if you're good enough at it and you can get enough people to believe your story, well, you can actually profit from it. Whether you tell porky pies or not in there is, is the question as to whether or not that's a right or wrong way to go. Yeah, well, um, that, that's as you were asking me before about um, where does does it constitute um, a level of fraud? And, um, you know, if you think about traditional forms, I mean, it's no different than uh, any sort of con, con trick that, um, you know, has been around for ages. But the difference here is that um, with the internet and social media, it's almost as if it made it even easier to, for her to do this. Well, it's interesting because people who had known her for a long time and she had had various other incarnations prior to becoming uh, Bell, Gibbon, uh, Gip, Bell Gibson, the, the wellness warrior. Mm. Prior to that, she had had other incarnations and people who had known her and had always suspected that uh, her claims might not have been accurate uh, pulled her up on them online uh, in a lot of these posts, uh, but they were largely ignored by people who chose to just blindly follow her version of events. Now, Anyone who knows social media knows that we don't very often critically analyse the posts we see and stop and ask the questions. And I think that that's when, you know, visually you create a compelling story, you can get away with it even when people are posting in your or commenting in your posts. <laughs> you may not be uh, accurate with uh, what, what you're portraying. Well, it could be written off as uh, oh, they're just trolling her or something like that, especially with that's such a, you know, she was... Tip pulling at the heartstrings with her story so it'd be easier to dismiss those sort of things? So that's right because even though we know that, uh, you know, trolling is an issue on the internet and, and, and we consider these social media platforms to be literally publishing platforms, the fact is there's no way that we can tell relatively who's right or who's wrong when there is a debate. You choose a side and, as we've said, we're not particularly critical on social media about what we're we're reading past the probably the opinion level. You yeah, know, you rarely dig in and research what people are saying. But the real the real problem here is that Bell Gibson was promoting uh, potentially a, a lethal message to people who who needed messages of hope, and in similar situations to those that she was describing, if they chose her path, they'd definitely be putting their lives at risk. Well, I guess just finally, just to wrap it all up, um, uh, the uh, 
you know, I guess the she was successfully able to manipulate the platform to an extent that she got so many people to believe her. But at the same time, when the uh, the House of Cards fell down, it fell down really quickly and it sort of the same platform collapsed in on her as well and uh, sort of um, it, that went viral as well. So there's that's an interesting sort of... Uh, Thing to watch too that um you know if you're if you're if you're a fraud and you're found out you'll probably be found out pretty quickly that's true now you know if you're a traditional uh, person who would uh, perhaps cultivate these sorts of personas to profit from sometimes they're called con people <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know one day they'd resurface somewhere else yeah. uh, as a new person selling the same old tricks the interesting thing will be to see, and I suspect that it won't be any different to the traditional way, uh, people like this will just resurface with a new personality online. Once again, we won't be critical when this new person comes forward with new claims. Yeah. And uh, I think you'll see that whoever Belle Gibson is, she'll rise again as another persona uh, with another money-making idea. Yeah, exactly. And uh, just quickly, uh, obviously Penguin and Apple didn't pick up on it, so... Um there you go. <laughs> the, the, the larger question is here, should they? And and what mm. should they have done? I mean, you know, th their comeback would be, and I'm not saying that this is right or wrong, but their comeback would be it's not their job to check. Oh, well, we'll watch this space and see, uh, see if we get any more fraudsters uh, making headlines uh, on social media going forward. <laughs> well, exactly. And this, this is actually the, the area where I think, you know, the whole privacy issue on the internet and the, the duping of people is probably far more uh, relevant and dangerous than credit card fraud. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for that, uh, Steve. It's uh, interesting and I'm sure we'll revisit it at some point. I'm sure we will. All right. So don't forget our uh, website, uh, scitechculture.com. You can get uh, all of our links there. And don't forget to subscribe to us on our various channels, iTunes in particular. I just wanted to point out that uh, we're getting fairly good traffic through there. So that's always um, that's always good. Um, we've got, uh, obviously, um, our social media feeds. We, we're not frauds. We've got about 200 <laughs> episodes online. So I don't think we can uh, make up anything uh, at this point. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, interact with us there. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you think anyone's interested in these discussions that Steve and I have, then uh, feel free to send them to our website. We'd greatly appreciate that. All right. So that's it for this episode. We'll catch you next time.